get a lot of questions about Instagram. How did I get verified? How did I get so many followers? If we're just meeting, my name is Caroline Raven. I'm a magician and YouTuber. It's basically just four things that we're gonna go through that you need to be able to be considered for verification. But first, what is a verification mark on Instagram? It's basically just a blue tick that you have right next to your name and it indicates that that profile or that Instagram account is the actual account of a celebrity or a brand or something like that. We're gonna walk through all of the steps that you need for what is required, how you actually apply, and what happens if you get denied. This is the second video in a four part series here about Instagram. Make sure you catch the other videos. First one is right up here and the other one's gonna be in the description bar below. So there are only four things that you need to be considered for verification on Instagram. Authentic, unique, complete, and notable. We're gonna walk through them one by one. You also wanna make sure that your account is public. Well, otherwise it's gonna be really hard for people to know what you do anyway, so you might as well keep it public. So the first one is authentic. It means that the account needs to represent something that is like an actual thing. So it needs to be either a person or a brand or an entity. Simple as that. There's only one account per person or brand that can be verified at a time, except when it comes to languages, because then you can have different ones. Can't be like a meme account or anything like that. So make sure that the content that you're putting out is something of you. So it's not just uh, you going out and searching for motivational quotes or, or you know, searching for pretty ladies and finding photos of me and just posting that, because that's not gonna make it unique content. So make sure you're posting photos that are yours. Make sure it's videos that you made. That's gonna make it so much easier to get approved. Another thing that's connected to that is that it needs to be authentic. So it needs to be something that is connected to that person. So in my case, it's me. I'm a personal brand, so it's gonna be photos of me, what I do, and all my business stuff. In making your account complete, you have to make sure that you have a written bio, that you have a profile picture, and that you have some sort of content posted already. I think that Instagram actually says that it needs to be one post, but if you wanna make sure that they actually consider you for approval and to get the verified tick, I'd actually put in some more work for that. Write a bio post a profile picture, make posts. If you're getting any value of this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So, and also your profile can't just be add me links to other social media accounts because Instagram is not gonna approve that. When it comes to being notable, this is probably the place where most people are gonna fail in their applications because this is about you needing to be someone or a brand that is well known. It needs to be a highly searched for either person, brand or entity. If you are your own brand or if you have your own business, they wanna make sure it's actually multiple different news sources. This is something to note that is actually on Instagram website it says we review accounts that are featured in multiple news sources and we do not consider paid or promotional content as sources for review also keep in mind that if you are submitting this application anything in that is misleading or false Instagram can actually remove your tick and if it's really bad they can actually delete your account so make sure you're really careful with this when you have all of that done now it's time to actually go through how you do the application all right so you go into your Instagram you go up to the settings, go to account, all the way down here, request verification. You're gonna put in your name and what you're known as and your category. Then you need to upload something with your face on and your full name on, so a driver's license or anything like that would do. And then you send it in, easy as that. When they have made a decision, you will see in your notifications if you were approved or not. If you were denied, don't panic. You can still do it again, but you have to wait 30 days to apply next time. So let's let's say you get denied. So during those 30 days, what do you do? Are you just gonna, you know, hide under a rock or whatever? No, this is what you do. Make sure you are featured more in news, contact podcasts, reach out to people who have an online magazine, do interviews. Oh, and how do you do that, Caroline? How do you get featured in news? And how do you get onto podcasts? Funny you should ask, because that's exactly what number three is all about in this series. Make sure you post more that is unique, that is you, that is brand related. I want you to be active. I want you to do things to get that verified mark because you have to think about your why here. Why do you want to get verified? What, why do you need it? And being verified on Instagram comes with so much. The number one thing that I like about having one is it gives me so much authority. And I've been in the business for a long time now. And when I got it, I was so happy. I think I might have popped a champagne bottle that day. I mean, it was a huge thing. That was it for this week. I do hope you enjoyed it. Now get out there and apply for verification and if you get denied, hang in there. You know what to do. You can do it. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. This looks good. This is the, that includes, that, that is the, 